This space is a little room off of the oldest gym in Toronto. So there's some like pretty friendly guys that are offering me this space for a pretty decent price. Um, and it's really turned into like my second home. It's like a really cute, creative, like almost really rep representation of me and my aesthetic and all the work that I've been doing for the past year now because I got this space in la last year, April. So yeah, I've come to really love it here. <laughs> Currently I'm working on the fall collection and have been for the past couple months, um, but what really inspired me to start this collection was um, a trip to Scotland over Christmas where I completely removed myself from like digital uh, distractions and like internet and social media and all that. So there's a lot of references to, um, like I said before, like train rides um, and just artists who paint nature in a really abstract view like Gerard Richter. Um, I always like to focus on, first and foremost, tailoring. What I think Catherine Bowen is, is basically a spin on classic tailoring, but also focus on um, like couture and traditional techniques using garment making. And also, really importantly, it's um, not focused on mundane trends. So this is like a, a take on tailoring, but like I said, a, like a spin on it. Um, so there's like a lot of cutouts and like a new interesting silhouette going on and actually the sleeves are removable so you can wear it as a vest as well. This is the kilt dress that I was talking about. So there's two belts on it. I give it a really nice silhouette. But the bottom of the coat is actually a kilt so you can see the pleats in the back there. So this is the couture trench. Um, it's something that's really new because I wanted to create a new silhouette for this next season. It's actually like there's two different, very different ways you could wear it. Um, not only is it in cotton and silk, but there's like two pieces to it. So you could wear it as a, co as a coat and you can wear it as a skirt. And both pieces are like super flattering and super trendy, but <laughs> that's not really what I wanted. This pant is, it's one piece, it's one leather pant, but it's split into three different parts with the seams. So the way I've designed it is the, the bottom third appears to be a boot because it's a different color. And so while you're wearing it, it looks like you are wearing a boot. But I'm also going to add the details from the ghillie shoe from Scottish traditional dress, which will make it appear even more as a boot by itself. Do you have a name yet for it? Doesn't Actually, no, I don't. I've been thinking about this, and I think it's true. I think it does need a name. It like it's it's a story, right? Because it happens from um, your initial concept, and and you watch it develop. So I think it'll come.